yes guys what's up welcome back to another action-packed homemade madness video the 40 horsepower toy tractor build part 4 in this final build part i'll first be getting this thing ready for the very first test drive by finishing the controls like the brake clutch gas and shifter pedal and after that i'll be doing the very first test drives which at first didn't go all that well because of some two-stroke exhaust problems but later as you'll see i got it all figured out and also finally i'll be finishing the bodywork like the hood sides and fenders to really make this thing looking like a toy tractor again but that's how to come first up controls yes welcome everyone so what i want to start off with is hook up this as well as the clutch pedal so you saw me make this earlier and this will be the brake pedal and this will be clutch and then we'll have a thumb throttle somewhere over here like this but i'll make that later so this is the brake cylinder from the dirt bike the rear one and I want to mount it somewhere over here, like this, to the steering wheel shaft. So when the steering rotates, it will rotate with it. And I have to mount it like this, not like this. Because this is the reservoir and it should stay up like this. So I'll mount it up here and then we'll have just some rod going from here to the brake pedal. And then for the clutch pedal, we just have a cable going to somewhere around here. So that's the plan, let's do it. Okay, so before we start building, let's talk about this video sponsor, Raid Shadow Legends. They have tons of champions, over 600 now, and all those champions have their own history in the world of Teleria. Use my links below to download Raid yourself to your mobile phone or PC. Newest boss just released in Raid is the biggest and craziest one yet. This thing is a Hydra with six different heads. Each one is a complete boss battle all on its own. The Head of Torment. This thing specializes in using True Fear to drag down your own team, making you skip your turns and lose access to your skills. The Head of Suffering is all about making you suffer. It's got a special new effect called Pain Link. If you hurt this thing too much, you're going to suffer as well. So what I like about the game is the sheer amount of champions you can choose from and the wide range of abilities you can unlock. And if you want a top tip for the fastest way to level up your champions, it's through farming the campaign. You grind XP and you get loads of silver at the same time. There's a ton happening in Raid this month. To start off, Raid's releasing a bunch of awesome new champions, along with a brand new Faction War script for one of my favorite factions, the Shadowkin. It's gonna be amazing and I can't wait for the script to open up so I can dive in and see what it's all about. So what's new in Raid? Well, for starters there's a lot of new champions and there's a ton of New Year events, including a special fusion event where you can get one of Raid's newest legendary champions. And if you use my link in the video description or scan my QR code, you'll get a free starter pack worth almost $30 to kickstart your game. We're talking a free champion, Aena, 200k silver, 1 energy refill and 1 XP boost and 1 ancient shard and all this treasure will be waiting for you here. Okay, that's 
throttle, brake, and clutch pedal down. Next up, shifter. Okay, so that's the controls all done and the shifter. Pretty pleased with how it works. And I put the wheels and some body panels on just to see what it looks like. And I think it looks pretty good. So I thought about what to do next. And the big job would be to weld the frame because at the moment it's only tacked together. And that's something that definitely needs to be done before the first test drive. But before I weld the frame, I thought about putting on some more plastics just to make sure stuff like this and this all fits in the plastic before I weld it. So it should go on something like this. And I think this part will fit very well right about to here. So I'm thinking about cutting it right about here across this seam and then down to here. So it's a bit of a shame to cut it apart like this, but really, well, I don't have a choice. So I'll try to keep it looking as original as possible, but we'll see how it goes. And after that's done and I'm happy with how it fits, I can start welding the frame. So as it turns out this all actually fits pretty good and I didn't really need to modify anything. So that's all looking pretty good. I'm gonna take it off again, completely weld up the frame and make it ready for a test drive.
Okay, so far the first test drive went, well, pretty decent. I'm pretty happy with how it drives, I mean the throttle and shifter and stuff. And steering works pretty good, but obviously as you've probably heard it does not rev all the way. Which means it had basically no power. So I'm trying to figure out what it is. So I did another run without the air filter on. Didn't make a difference that I did another run with the fuel pump on. Didn't make a difference. So I'm thinking it's probably my exhaust here. I just made this piece too short. So it's really making no power at the moment. And some of you have said this wouldn't work. And I have my doubts, but it turns out it doesn't work. So I'll modify this. Make this about as long as it used to be, which means this will go much further back. So I'll take some sheet metal, move this back, make this much longer, and then we'll try again and see how it goes. So there we are, new exhaust, made it a lot longer. I don't really like how it looks, it's definitely not my best work. Also this, I just don't like it. But for now, it's good enough. Let's take it for a test drive and see if it makes a difference. Okay, so that's it for the second test drive. Definitely went better than the first one, but the power band is now just too high and way too short. So I think that's caused by the exhaust being too long. Now I made it this long just because I needed to clear the rear suspension over here. So that's why the expansion chamber is all the way back here. So what I'll do now is move it forward again a little bit and then maybe cut this off here and make it a little different so it's a little bit smaller. And maybe move the seat a little bit backwards too, just to make a little bit more room for the expansion chamber over here. So really I'll just try it and then drive again and see how it does.
Okay, so I just did another test run with the tooth exhaust and it worked pretty good. Got a nice wide power band and a lot of power. Didn't film it because, well, it's dark. So next up I want to move the seat backwards a little bit to make room for the expansion chamber. And also I want to change this arc a little bit to make room to swing the rear suspension. 